The quads tool requires existing geometry to function, so keep that in mind when you use this tool. Now, what you essentially do is extrude out from existing edges here. To select an edge, simply click on it, and you'll get this, what appears to be a polygon, and you can place points, as you did with the Add Split tool, to create new polygons. Now, once you've created a new polygon, another edge will be selected off of that previous polygon. And to change the edge, simply move to the edge you would like to create from. There are a number of methods you can use here as well. The one I just demonstrated is two clicks. As you saw, I created two points off those. The next one is parallel. And you'll see here that it creates an edge parallel to the previous. The next is direct. And this one will try and extrapolate or normalize the edge based off the previous edge in the direction of your cursor. The next is trapezoid. It's very similar to direct in that it tries to normalize or extrapolate based off the direction from the previous edge. Although this one not so much. There are a few other options up here. Snap force, for instance. Let's demonstrate this with the two clicks method. And let's select this edge here. Now you notice that it automatically snaps to that point right there. And I have to pull my cursor rather far away to get it off of that point. Let's turn that all the way down to its minimum value of 100. Notice it still snaps, but when I pull it away, it easily pulls away. Now let's turn it up to its maximum value of 20,000. And you'll see here, when I try to pull it away, it doesn't move until I pull it very far away. 